live. Vanity. <laughs> oh, and there. Thanks, Stream Elements. <laughs> we were waiting for you it to It was pop. just waiting for you to click the button. Yeah, obviously. Um, welcome to another board game night. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Uh, <clears throat> here on DM North TV tonight. Um, I guess we're sort of continuing our, our, our scary theme. <laughs> <laughs> quotes it is scary uh, dinosaurs uh, are scary <laughs> um, with uh dinosaur island which is a game from i want to say like 2017 somewhere around there yeah. so, it's a few yeah. it's from pandasaurus yes it's from pandasaurus games <laughs> it's uh oh jocelyn you were, were you waiting for us um oh sweet and we're redlining on the stream that is great um it is a, I think it's actually a one player game. You can play it one to four yes, players. Hello. Mm -hmm. hello variant I've never played. Five players if you have the expansion, which we are not using, despite Nick's efforts. Um, I'm still using parts. <laughs> Nick, Nick is refusing to conform, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, basically, we are building our own uh, dinosaur theme park. And oh, because it's. Stay where you are. <laughs> what's that? There's a cat on the table. There's a Where? cat. Back. Oh! <laughs> Not on my table. I'm going, I don't see a cat. I see a cat yeah, off to the no, side. Okay. I see a cat who's gonna, like, probably just barf on the floor, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's what I'm looking This for. is real exciting. Um, yeah, this is a, uh, we're building a dinosaur park. Um, essentially, we're gonna do that by researching DNA to clone the dinosaurs and then put them in a park, let people in, and nothing bad ever happens when you do that. Um, I've lost my big bag of people. <laughs> That's a, Oh, there they are. Found them. It is not a co-op game, no. Definitely. No, it's totally... For legal reasons, are we allowed to say Jurassic Park tonight? Uh, well, we're not going to get sued. Uh, Pandasaurus might. Because... Um, <laughs> This is probably well, this isn't even legally distinct. This is this is Jurassic Park. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, but Dinosaur Island is Jurassic Park. Fully full Jurassic Park, okay? The game. <laughs> How do you swing getting him into the stream? Oh, that's because it isn't a co-op game. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a co-op game, he'd be he'd be nope. Nope. We'll trick him one time. We'll just invite him into a game and then uh, oh hey, surprise, it's it's a co-op. Hey, if you have a good co-op game. Every co-op game we've played has been amazing. I don't know what a good co-op game is. You can have to list us I, a list of good co-op games. Well, we'll talk about that at the end of the stream. Why don't we, why don't we start yeah. with what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Dinosaur Island is divided into four phases, essentially. Um, this is one of those games where you're, you're trying to score victory points. Uh, but the four phases are laid out on the four boards. You can only see two of them right now. Um... The phases are called, <laughs> as I'm trying to sneak it into the, <laughs> look at the oh, instruction God. manual, casually. Um, there's the research phase, the market phase, the worker phase, and the park phase. Oh, five phases. And the cleanup phase. Oh, right, yeah. yes. So you need a cleanup phase. You need a cleanup. That has to be a separate phase. Um, so let's kind of talk phase by phase here. So phase one, I have way too much crap here. Um, phase one, it takes place on this board. This is the research board. So what is going to happen, and why don't we do that right now on stream, is the first thing we got to do is roll these dice. These dice contain different symbols, and that is going to tell you what you get out of them. Um, wow, and Quite an interesting rolling tray. Yep. Uh, you get two dice per player plus one. So we're playing a three-player co-op game. So we roll seven dice. And we put them on the board. The, the uh, order doesn't matter at all. It's two versus one. <laughs> That's right. I'll take it. Well, yeah, you'd probably have no problem We're with that. We're going to sabotage Nick. <laughs> so basically, this is the stuff available for round one. Is that official? That's, That's official. official That's role? official. That's all the right. official roll. That's a pretty crappy roll. That is a pretty crappy roll. Um, so... For the research phase, you are going to be using your scientists. Each player has three scientists, a level one, a level two, and a level three scientist. Um, uh -huh. <clears throat> you are going to place those scientists on the board to do one of four things, basically. Uh, you will place them 
um, on the dice, so which die you want to claim. And on that die, you're going to claim whatever the symbols are. So in this case, you're going to get two basic of that type of DNA. And it's multiplied by the level of your scientist. So if I put my level one scientist on this one here, it's I get two of that DNA. If I put the level two scientist on this one, I will get four of that DNA. And if I put my level three scientist there, I'll get six of that DNA. So it's a multiplier here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is... Uh, the next thing you can do is you can get a dinosaur recipe. So you can take from the herbivores, the small carnivores, or the large carnivores, and you must put a scientist equal to or greater than the value here. So to get the herbivores, you can use any scientist. To get the small carnivores, you can use a level 2 or level 3. And to get the large carnivores, you can only use your level 3. Um, oh, <laughs> I just saw Petrus learn the, the board game expansion today. I'm so sorry, Petrus. I'm kidding. <laughs> don't don't I've already made Jocelyn mad for my uh mimic stuff. <laughs> um the other thing you can do is you can increase your DNA storage. So we'll get to kind of DNA storage in a second. Well, probably in a couple seconds. Um but basically for each scientist you put in the same thing, you're gonna put your multipliers to increase your storage of that thing. So um if you put your level one, you can increase one by one, if you put your level three, you can increase one by three, or you can increase three by one. You basically get three movements of, of DNA. Uh, the last thing you can do is pass. If you choose not to uh, do anything, uh, basically that you pass with your scientist and your scientist gets put into your worker pool. So you'll have an extra worker that round who is who is who was a scientist. And at the end of the research phase, Whichever of these dice remaining has the highest number of pips, so you can see these little dots in the corners here, that is going to be turned into the threat level for that round. And threat level, will, again, we'll get to in a, in a minute here. So that's phase one. Any questions about phase one? Uh, what are the dinosaurs? What are the dinosaurs? I said it's herbivores. Small yeah, carnivores. Yeah, them over. Oh, yes. Sorry. I guess you need to know that. Uh, we've got a stegosaurus. We've got a Velociraptor. Oh, we're staying on theme here. And we've got a Spinosaurus. Okay, any other questions about, <laughs> about the phase one? Velociraptor and then Spinosaurus. Okay. Spinosaurus looks awesome. Okay, so that is what's available in the research phase. In the second phase, it's on this blue board right here. This is the market phase. Um, here is where you will be spending your cash to, uh, to do things. Um, oh, there's cleanup phase on there. Uh, so what you can do in the market phase, you can hire a specialist. So the specialists are right at the edge of the screen here. Um, each player can have up to three specialists on their, on their board. And they're going to give you kind of extra things. Um, so in this case, like we've got the lab manager here, once per round, increase your cold storage limits by one for a single DNA, DNA type. That's actually pretty good. Um, you can build attractions. So you can buy attractions from this row here. Uh, to purchase the attraction, you're going to spend the money whichever row they're in. So this would cost $2 plus $3. This would cost 5 This one costs 9 plus 3 9 plus 4 9 plus 5 uh, you can also buy lab upgrades and same thing. You're going to pay the value of the, whichever row they're in, and then you can take any of these lab upgrades. Uh, you can also purchase, uh, upgrades for your existing lab things. So you got Dino Research 2 and D DNA Refinement 2. You can only buy one of those. Um, but if you pay the associated cost, take that, put it on your board. Is uh, it like $3 and $5? Yeah. The Dino okay. Research is three. Make sure I put in the right thing. And the DNA refinement is five. Um, you may also spend the money here to do these actions to gain DNA. So you can spend two DNA, or sorry, two dollars to get any two basic DNA, three dollars, three basic, four dollars for one uh, advanced, or five dollars for uh, two advanced, and then you're going to discard something from the row when you do that. Um, yeah, you do one action there, right? You get, we get two passes. 
until each player has yeah. two actions. Two actions. That's right. Yeah. You can also pass if you so desire. <clears throat> if you pass, you get two bucks. Yes. That is somewhere on the board, isn't it? Uh, it's uh, not on the board. <gasps> How's that not on the board? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I you, think you always want to be buying things. Yeah, but if you don't, yeah, if you choose not to do anything, you can gain two bucks. Um, when uh, everything at the, well, maybe that's cleanup phase. Um, nah, you know what we'll talk about now. We're on, we're on here anyway. Um, at the end of the round, once we've kind of purchased all the stuff, we basically push things up as high as we can and then just refill the rows. Uh, I think you also wipe the level what, two. Yes, wipe the level two or the $2 stuff and then push everything up. Everything gets pushed. Yeah. Uh, that is... It could get cheaper. Yes, yes. Because right now, like, a break room is... Well, sorry, the balloons are ridiculously expensive right now. Yeah, because it's five plus whatever the price is yes yeah uh let's go to phase three can we go to my screen there yep. kim so this is uh the next phase of the game phase three i'm just gonna move stuff over i'm gonna spill my dinosaurs oh my goodness uh this Josh, game is a... you have to pay your employees that's why there's prices <laughs> um so phase three is the worker phase is that correct yes so what you're gonna do so we've actually spent our, our scientists, we'll pretend. So each player has four workers to start the round, unless something gives them extras. And then you can use these workers to do things on your board. So we'll be doing this simultaneously, and we'll just be alternating kind of which player is kind of focused on here. But essentially, you can do a couple things. You can put a... There's little squares here to tell you how many people you're allowed to place here. So for DNA refinement, for example... I can place a worker here, and then I can spend the appropriate type of DNA colors to make the more advanced DNA. Uh, I can create a dinosaur. So for one worker, I can just, when I have a recipe on the table, I can build a dinosaur. Uh, I can also spend two workers in the same turn to build a second dinosaur. Uh, the other thing you can do uh, is you can upgrade your paddocks, which I'll get to in two seconds here. Uh, you can place workers there as much as you want. There's no cap there. Uh, you can also collect money from the bank. You can spend your workers to get money. And then as you're buying upgrades, you will have other things to do. Um, these two here, DNA refinement and dino research, can only be upgraded by those other two on the top. Um, and they're, they're stuck there. These bottom ones, you can put anything you want on these ones. You can cover up existing ones. Uh, whichever one is the top one is the active one, basically. Correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can keep replacing them. So, like, Toolbench and Venture Capital, you can get rid of if you want to, right? And you can also replace the Dino Research one and DNA Refinement one. Okay. Can you? With, uh, yeah, it's on the Phase 2 board. Oh, I already said that. The Yeah, yeah I yeah. said... Yeah, okay. I'm going, you can Just replace reminding with... us. Some okay. of us apparently forgot. Um, so, on this part of the board here is kind of your... your recipe or your ingredients the dna you have so you start the game with zero advanced dna and one of all the basic dna these black cubes here are actually the cap or your your cold storage limits of dna so with, right now we could have no more than three basic dna or one advanced dna if you use the actions to upgrade it you can actually go up along the track you can max max your cold storage at 10 so basically you could have no more than nine of any type of dna if you max out um, on this side of the board, uh, this is where you'll store your specialists when you get them. Um, and then you're looking at threat level and security level. Uh, threat level is determined by the die at the end of the first, at, from the first phase, plus whatever, how many dinosaurs you have in your, in your park. Uh, initially, we only start with one dinosaur. It only has a threat level of one. So we're starting at a threat level of one and then whatever's added to that. Security level is how secure your park is. So how likely you are are to have your, your patrons eaten by dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> basically, the rule of thumb is you want your security to be higher than your threat level. If it's, if it's equal to or greater than your threat level, then nothing happens. If your security level is lower than your threat level, bad things are going to happen. So let's talk about... I think that's phase... There's nothing else in phase three, right? Did you mention the... In phase one, the leftover guy gets put into uh yes 
Okay. Yeah, whatever die with the highest number of pips is uh, is going to be uh, added there. Added yep. there. Um, so I think that takes care of phase three. I don't think... Temporarily what? It's only temporary threat. Yes, temporary threat. Uh, but each of us are going to have our own threat levels. Um, that brings us to phase four, which is the park phase. Right now, we have a very boring park. We have one dinosaur and one... I got a hat shop. I don't know if they're the same for everybody. Uh, yeah, a hat shop. Yep. So what we're going to do here is, uh, based on our uh, excitement level, which is basically the number of dinosaurs we have in our park. Uh, well, actually this little token here, the little triangle symbol. So right now that's worth one excitement. Uh, we're going to draw that many people. Right? Yeah. That many people of the out of the bag of people. Yep. In the bag of people, there are two types of people. There are the yellow uh, patrons. The nice and, people. And the purple hooligans, which I think okay. are, I think they're a different color in the uh, other yeah, games. Yeah, my regular version is pink. Yeah. Um, and I, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to draw however many people based on your excitement level. And you're going to line them up in the park. Uh, hooligans are horrible people, and they're going to push their way to the front of your line. And then everyone else has to wait. Please. Yeah. So basically what you're going to do is you're, uh, during the park phase, is you're going to put people into the park in line order. Hooligans go in the park first. People go in last. Um, you can put people at attractions based on what it says here. Uh, so... On this park here in the dinosaur thing, you can put one person there because you have one dinosaur. As you upgrade this, you will be able to add more dinosaurs and more people. Um, at the hat store, for example, I can put one person. Um, when you are scoring, uh, well, basically you're going to score for the number of people you get into your into your park. Uh, if you have more people than can, than can fit into your park, they don't. They just don't score. Um. Let's talk about upgrading, because I did mention that. Also, something about money when you score. Uh, money comes in stores, I think. You can you can choose to score or take money. So well, right, I think you get money based on uh, your excite how many people came into the park. Uh, attract visitors, manage lines, score victory points. Did you get money for placing a dinosaur? No. 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 Then the only way I know how to get money is oh, collect one here. dollars the bank per patron. That's right. Mm. Forgot about that. Thank you, Nick. So the pe yep. the paying people, so the yellow people, will pay you money to come to the park. The purple people will not. Uh, so the only way to make money is either that or on our board collect from the bank. Or Only from or, or from store. Like some of these stores will let you ch choose to gain victory points or like the Raptor Nuggets. Yes. When like the, the... you place someone there, you have the option to either gain one point or gain two money. Yeah. Um so yeah, so basically when you're adding things, so here we'll add the Raptor Nuggets to the board. Um uh, you can place them anywhere on the board. Once you place it, they are there. You cannot replace it or change it. Okay? Uh, same with the dinosaurs. When you add them to the park, they go into these slots like this. You cannot place them like this. Everything goes like that. And again, once you place them, that that's where they are. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, another question is, how do we how do we raise the black thing again? Just cold storage? That's cold storage. So how do we raise up the black markers? In the, in the player, in the phase one. So before you bounce there, let's talk about upgrading your paddocks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is on your phase three in your tool bench thing. So what you will do is you will take the next phase up. So they've got the little boards that have this. And you're going to pay the price of uh, whatever it says on there. So I think it's two, three, or four for however many paddocks. So to go from one to two, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to place that there, and now there's room for a second dinosaur, which also means I can now place two people at this attraction, and so on and so forth. So if I want to place, uh, if I want to go from two to three, I pay three. If I go three to four, I go I go four. 
Um, again, unless something says otherwise. Um, I feel that I'm forgetting something as well. Oh, let's go to the uh, when bad things happen, I guess. Um, if your security level is ever lower than your threat level, the difference between those is how many people are going to get eaten by your dinosaurs. And you basically will eat patrons first and people in line second. You will always uh, eat the patrons before the hooligans. The hooligans are quick enough to get away. Uh, but they will get eaten. Um, for each one that gets eaten, you lose a victory point. And... Yeah. And so I think that last one, you draw stuff from the bag, you then gain money for everything you draw, but then you decide who gets... You place them, decide who gets eaten, and then you only gain points for people left on the board. Left yeah, in the not, on, not in, on the side. In the park, not in the line. In the park. Yeah, left in side the park. But, but, the, but, you're, but the lovely people get eaten first before the hooligans. Yes. Um, and then the people in the line, if you run out of, like, you don't have enough people to eat, you will eat the line people. No. Yeah. Um, then you will score victory points uh, <laughs> with whatever's left. Um, and then you're going to reset the turn order. So basically, the person with the lowest victory points will be the first player at that time. Um, so the threat level is added to what you're currently is based on the die, too. The threat level yeah. is based on the number of dinosaurs. Um Plus the die. Plus the die. Yeah. So right now, if you were to do nothing, you're going to guarantee to lose one guy, at least. Probably two. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Well, it depends on how much variable threat you get. Well, well, right now, the way it's set up, you'll have, there's two variable threats, so it'll be a total threat of three. If you don't increase your security level high enough, you'll... you'll... Eh, people get eaten. It's the way of life. <laughs> Circle of life when you go to the dinosaur park. Um, actually, did I talk about upgrading your security? Uh, it's an action on your phase three board. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just jump back to that real quick. Um, mm -hmm. So threat level is going to increase based on dinosaurs and stuff. Uh, security level, you can increase by paying. So you're going to the tool bench again, and you're going to pay the price wherever you're going to. So to go from a 1 to a 2 costs you 1. Going from a 2 to 3 costs you 2. Going from 4 to 5 costs you, th five, costs you 3, and etc. Uh, if you ever get beyond 10, there's a little token to mark it again. And then everything costs 5 beyond that. Um, now I think we've covered all the basics. Does that make sense? That was probably the longest intro we've ever done. There's so much stuff to go over, and it's not that complicated. Yeah, it's not as complicated as it sounds. So... Uh, speaking of not complicated, we're going to add two more rules. So, <laughs> wait, so, wait, wait. Again, how do you how do you increase the black thing? Cold storage. Okay, go back to the market. Yeah. Okay, so up here during the science phase, you can place your scientists here to move the black to the black square up. Oh, okay. And it's again multiplied by whatever level of scientist you place. Right, and uh, whatever. You color you choose. But yeah. you can split the colors. Like if you put a three there. You can do it three different ones or one yeah. and two or however you want. You basically have three. Um, okay. You can also only place one scientist in each section. So you can't place. Uh, no, you can place as many in the dice if you want, can't you? Yeah, I don't yes. think there's any limit. You just, they just get snapped up real quick. Oh, I guess the dinosaur is the only limit one because there's stuff there. Yeah. Because that's a shared yeah. board. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me grab... Now for the plot twist. Now for the plot twist, and I also need to grab your scientists so I can have them handy. Okay. Uh, plot twists. Now, plot twists are basically uh, additional rules to the game. So we're going to draw... Make it different each time. Yeah. So we're going to take that. I'm going to throw those in the box. Um, well, I probably shouldn't throw them away yet, just in case. These affect... Uh, okay, so the first plot twist was this one. Uh, each player may increase cold storage limits limits by one for a single DNA type at the end of each round. There you go. Oh. That's a good I'm one. Mad. The second one is discard items in the $2 and $3 rows when refreshing the market. Okay. So the bottom stuff could really shoot up. Yeah, so... Yeah. 
That's well, not... This will just make it fun as we spend half the game looking for the new things that pop up. <laughs> uh, Sorry, any... what was this one again called? Uh, the first one was each player... Oh, uh, there's no names for it. Uh, each player oh. may increase cold storage limits by one for a single Got DNA that. type at the end of each round. Okay, and the other one was... Discard items in the 2 and $3 rows when refreshing ah, the market. Ah, there it is. Okay. Um, so, one more thing. Let's go back to the market. Well, actually, we'll go back to the Phase 1 and 2 boards. And bring up the scoreboard, because that's important. So, this is our scoreboard. Uh, turn order was determined at the beginning of the game there. Uh, so, Kim will be going first, followed by Nick, followed by me. Um, because Kim is going first, she will have $15 to start the game. Nick will have 16 and I will have 17. Um, we're all starting at an excitement level of one because we have one dinosaur. That will increase as we do things. Uh, victory points, we all start with 10 victory points. Um, and we will gain or lose victory points based on... Uh... Things getting eaten. Yeah, so I'm hoping for a lot of... A lot of... I, I forget if there's a penalty if you get to one and you can't lose any more victory points. I don't think there is because like you're at one point by that point. Like, Does it matter? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, Nick wants to know if we can penalize players, so I'm going to say no. Uh... I'm going to say no. Oh, how does the game end? That's important. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there's the objective cards that we never even talked about yet. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Okay, get rid of that uh, that uh, scoreboard. <laughs> Forgot about those. So we drew those at the beginning of the game. You want to play? grab three cards plus one per players. These objective cards are going to tell you what you need to accomplish in the game. In our game, the first one says earn seven victory points from dinosaur exhibits in a single round. Uh, second one, build one attraction of each type, food, merchandise, rides in your park. Uh, three is fill all but four zones in your park. And the fourth one's create three dinosaurs in a single round. Do not count starting dinosaur species. Um, and, and so once all of these are covered, once or there's, one? when there's one left, then you, that's the basically last round of the game. Um, to claim the objectives, you finish the objectives, then you're going to put your, your lab token on it. Only one person may claim each objective unless the same thing is finished at the same time. So if, uh, say, Nick and Kim both filled all but four zones in their park on the same turn, they both get to, to claim that one. And it's during the same phase. Phase, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah if you do it in a second phase, which there's... I don't know that we can with these, but... Uh, it might be hard, but it might be possible too, but... No, these are all pretty phase-specific. So I think now we've got everything. I'm shoving the rulebook behind me. Um, I think let's... No. Let, let's go. Um, so Kim gets to go first, even though I have the fast pass. It says so right there. Dinosaur Island <laughs> fast pass. The slap okay. bracelet. Um, that was a Kickstarter thing from Pandasaurus because be reasons. Why not? Because you need a slap bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> because you need a, you know, you're playing this game. You need to be, you know, you're a patron. You're going into your... Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I have the fast pass and I'm going last. So uh, Kim, uh, why yes. don't you, you start us off with one of your scientists? I am going to... Oh, these colors are the worst. Um, like light purple yeah. and dark purple. Like, what's up with that? Um, I'm going to go with the one, my one worker, my number one worker. Yep. On the third die. So that one? Yeah. Okay. So I gained two of the, no, sorry. That's the light purple. Sorry, no, wrong one. The dark purple. <laughs> go, go over two more. This one? One. Yeah, that one. Okay. Oh, colors are... That's blue. Yeah, that's... It's not purple. No, the first color is blue. That's light that's blue. blue. That's, that's purple. purple. That's dark that's, purple. That's dark blue. <laughs> dark purple. Anywho. <laughs> they shouldn't have chose... That's the one know. you picked. Anyways, okay, Nick. I go up one, right? You go up in that board. color of DNA. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put my one on uh, Steggy. You're taking Steggy? Steggy? I want a dino. 
Steggy is yours. Steggy now needs to get discarded. Um, what do I want to do? Well, I guess I, I kind of want a Velociraptor, but you don't get penalized on that one until the end of the game if it's empty, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you don't make it, you lose, like, 10 points by the end. Yes. You don't but, create it? Yeah. Yeah, if you just take the recipe and never make at least one, you get kind of like... I'm gonna... I, I want a Velociraptor, because if I've learned anything from the movies, it's that Velociraptors... <laughs> wrong. Velociraptors are very peaceful creatures. Um, I'm gonna put it right beside the uh, other dinosaur I already have. Okay. Uh, Kim. Know, I... You guys are taking dinosaurs already? Oh. You gotta get them. It's called Dinosaur Island. You need dinosaurs on your park. I know, but... <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with... Worst roll ever. Huh. All right, I'll put my two. Mm -hmm. I should have went for the other one. I'm such a dumb. Oh, these colors are driving me nuts. Uh, I put the two on the third die. The one you said you didn't want. So you get actually six of, oh, sorry, four of those. If you could. Fill if it. you can store four, which you can't. No, I can go to the max. Yeah. Uh, Nick. I'll go ahead and put one on uh, the leftmost light blue. Do you want the two or the three? The two. On the first one? Yeah. Okay. So you get four of that. Uh, uh, I said the one. You've already spent the one on the sticky. Oh, oops. Uh, then I'll put the two there. Not that it matters, because... Okay. I'm going to put the one there to increase that DNA by two. Uh, okay, Kim, your three. My three is going to go in the cold storage. Cold storage. So you can increase... Well, you got three points to spend there, however you want to do it. Increase three, right? Yeah, so you can increase one by three. You can increase three by one. As long as it adds up to three, you're good. Yeah. I increased all my advance by one. Okay. Nick. That's solid. All right. I'll put my three on the three DNA one. That one? Which is the... Purple. Purple, the darker purple, the third one. The third basic. Uh, no, that's the second basic. Oh. The, the, the symbols oh, yeah, should match, too. So, okay. does, is that what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. You, you get nine of those? Yep. You can't even go past that. <laughs> nope. Can't do it. Um, what does my raptor need? Oh, I need like a variety. How do I make that DNA? Uh, where's the thingy? So I need that as well. Eek. I feel I'm going to need more cold storage here. But I think I need DNA as well. Uh, what DNA do I need? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's... Uh, it really doesn't matter because either one of these isn't going to make a difference. I'll yeah, make... that's that was my thought. Uh, okay, so that's the end of phase one. So at phase one, we look at what's left, which are these two dice. Both of them have two pips, so it doesn't really matter which one we pick. So to this round, we're going to have a temporary uh, uh, threat level of uh, plus two. Uh, the rest of that we'll worry about in the cleanup phase. Uh, so we're going to go over to phase two now, where we each get two actions to spend some money. Uh, Kim, again, you are first. And this is probably a good point to remind yourself that you also need to spend money in the next phase. If you're planning to make enclosures or paddock sizes, threat, security stuff. Yes. That's the right, thing to remember. right now we need to be at a le threat level of three or a security level of three to avoid problems. Yeah. Um. To buy the Dino Hunter. The Dino Hunter. So you're gonna pay three dollars. Three bucks. 
And yours says one less visitor is eaten in your park each round. And you get an extra worker. Yes. Uh, remember, so remember with that, if for ever, whatever reason you ever cover him up, you lose that extra worker. What do you mean cover him up? Oh, like if I replace him. Yes. Like if yeah. Because you, if if you, yeah. okay. you're allowed max three, right? Three specialists. And if you get another one, you can discard one. Uh, so that's Kib's first turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Nick. All right. I guess I will grab the uh, senior scientist. Oh, yes. Four. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not doing that now. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm cheap, so I'm going to spend my one fancy uh, metal token. And I'm going to pay two bucks to get the uh, lab manager. Everybody's buying specialists. So I get a dude. And you get the Everybody dude right away, it. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it goes on your... Okay. I said yes. I'm not really sure. I'm saying yes. I think so. I bought him. I haven't got to that phase yet, so I, I have him. Uh, Kim, second turn. Uh... Ooh, to buy those things, though. So it's the cost plus the cost. Oh, my God. Yes. So it's the cost of whatever row they're in plus whatever their actual cost is. $12. That's exactly how much I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, right? What does the two symbols mean next to the stuffed, stuffed one? The next. two symbols, like down here. Uh, no, next to the 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 picture of the T-shirt. Oh, it's just it's used that in a three-plus player game. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So if we're playing like a two-player game, there's a whole bunch of things we take out of the game. And if we were playing four, we oh, would add a few. Good night, games. Jocelyn. Good night, Jocelyn. I guarantee you, people are getting eaten, probably this round. Yep. <laughs> So do you get victory points right away when you buy things, or is it at the end of the round? When you make a dinosaur, you don't get the victory points until the end of the game. Uh, same with what the stores. You... Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. So <laughs> stuffed, stuffed dinos can't actually have people in it. That's weird. At the end. It's worth five points. It's just points. victory points. Yeah. Yeah, but I like something that's going to make me some money. Yeah. All right, I'll buy the Rex Max. No! For $4. We need to keep this up, buying all the stuff that Jordo wants. Yeah, it's, it's happening so far. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I paid for the Fast Pass. Thanks, Pandasaurus. Okay, <laughs> uh, Nick, how do you want to screw me over? Um... I think I'm going to spend three and grab the Dino Security. Dinos oh, there we go. Okay, so that is gone. Um. Okay. okay, wait, I have a question. What does the, does the strike out two coin person symbol mean? That means when the... you put a person there, instead of victory points, you can get two bucks. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's the slash either or. Okay. So I oh, kind of, okay. I kind of like, uh, I think I'm going to be a big spender here. Spend five, four bucks on a renovation committee. And, yeah, that's solid. And uh, that's the end of phase two. Uh, so we're going to go to phase three. We'll go to Kim's uh, screen because yep. she is first player. And uh, essentially, this is played simultaneously, where we're each going to do our own thing on our boards. Um, when we're done phase three, we'll just double check that everyone did everything right and uh, move on to phase four. Um, so, I mean, we can talk it over as we're doing it, or that probably makes the most sense, right? Mm -hmm. Or do we want just Kim to do her talker thing and then we just do our thing silently? What? 
How do we want to do it? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do my stuff, and then I'll explain it. Okay. Well, I'm going to do yeah. that. Once How do you upgrade a, pa a pad again? Okay, to upgrade oh, the... Oh, tool bench. Okay. okay. Tool bench, yes. Yeah, so that goes from my one to a two then there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's unlimited. And make sure you pay the cost of the paddock. So what's the cost? To go to a two is a two. Two dollars? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, where's my stupid dinosaur? What does he need again? How do I make the yellow? So I'll do that to do a purple. Uh, question on the security level. Do you, if you say you, you're you moving from the two to the three, does it cost $3 or just $2? So you're going to pay, to go to one to two, it costs you one. Yeah. To go from two to three costs you two. Okay. So it's not the added from before. No. Okay. And then the next is just whatever is to the right. Yeah. yeah. So you got to spend a worker and whatever. Uh, I got one dude left. What do I want to do? <laughs> I think I am going to just get some cash for next round. I have so much workers. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm done. I'll explain mine uh, at the end. Pay two. And I'm guessing the three colors means anyone to do it, right? The three the, colors. When, you're creating a, when creating a dinosaur? Which, uh, your basic starter dinosaur? Yeah, yeah, it's any one of those colors, right? Two. Yeah, you do. Two, yeah. two of any color. Yeah, okay. Well, two of any basic. Basic yeah. color, yes, sorry. Yeah. I think in the next versions, they chose better colors for some of the DNA. Oh, did they? It's not yeah, bad in person. Basic, like It's pretty obvious in DNA, person. The light blue, the fuchsia, and dark purple are really not distinct enough on the dice. How do you still have people left? Come on. Because I'm thinking. Don't think, just... Qui a coupé le fromage? Je vais... Qui a coupé le fromage? Okay, I'm done. Okay, so you're done. You've, uh... What did you do? Okay, so I've increased my security by two. I've uh, increased my padlock. Over here. Uh, I created a dinosaur when I increased a padlock, and yep. I gained some money. So you're going to actually also increase your threat by one more. Because you have two dinosaurs now. Okay. Is that right? Uh, yeah, you can always look at your base threat by adding up what you're at. Yeah, but it's each, each of the basic dinosaur creates one threat, right? Yeah, so that's you... what the red dot next to the star means. Yeah. So when you add a dinosaur, it, it goes up. Yes. Yeah, and she also increases her excitement by one. Yeah, so you are at excitement of two. Correct? Oh, yeah, I guess I would have to tell you that to track it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. How's it going? Uh, Nick, you were... Is that everything? Did you do... Yep, I'm done. Okay. Uh, Nick, what did you do? All right. Uh, the first thing I did, so I could pay the least amount for it, was I paid one to upgrade my security. Then I used my uh, Dino security, where I can upgrade it for free, so I didn't have to pay two. Mm -hmm. Then I refined some DNA, 
I spent the light blue, dark purple to make a green. And then I created a stegosaurus with that newly made green and some of the other excess DNA I had. So I am up to three excitement and two threats. Okay. I uh, I don't remember what order I did things, but I used my lab manager to increase this cold storage on one of my DNAs for free. I then refined some DNA to get me some advanced DNA. I increased uh, my security twice. Um, I had to pay for it, unfortunately. Uh, I upgraded a paddock for free um, because of my renovation committee. And then I took some cash from the venture capital. I took three bucks. So I figured I need some money. I did not add anything else to my park, unfortunately. So my excitement level uh, remains at one. George was the least exciting among us. In the first round, I am the least exciting. So we're going to go over to phase four. So Kim... You get how many people? Two people. Your first one is a person. Yay. Your second one is a person. Yay. Okay. Nick gets three I people. Get three. You get a person. You get a person. And hooligan, hooligan. Person. <laughs> I get one. And well, it's a hooligan. I would laugh. <laughs> that would be it's, funny. It's a dude. Um, okay, so, uh, place them however you want. Uh, first you get the money. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get a buck per person. One money for each person? Yes. Okay. I think. One dollar per person, yeah. These are pretty low rates. Yeah. Well, you gotta get the good dinosaurs to, to get the, the big money. Yeah, but, like, only one dollar per person? I mean, I guess this was kind of themed back in the 80s when... You know, inflation wasn't rampant. I guess it doesn't Wait, really matter where no, you put them, right? It was. Uh, well, your limit is based on how many dinosaurs are in your thing, right? Well, or you got uh, your store. Like, you got your hat store, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah. It just gets you a big... I put all three in my park. Oh, but you put... So if you put them at the dinosaur, do you, you don't get the... Do you get the victory point for the dinosaur right then? You... So you place them all. Now we need to check threat. Okay, well, we're all... Well, okay, I've got... So, for instance, if you want to go to my board... Uh -huh. So, we have a increased threat of two. So, yep. I have a total of four threat for the round. I have two or three security... That means I have a very dangerous hat stand where someone just got eaten. So I lose one point from that. So you can do that. You can pick whichever one you want. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. As long as you pick yellow first. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my hat stand was eaten. And so now I would score two points. So I would be at 11. Yep. Uh, Kim, you, uh, nobody got eaten, right? You were at... Here. So, my dino hunt, so my threat level is at four. Yep. I should put a marker there. There. Is at four. I'm at three for my security level, so one gets eaten, but because of my dino hunter, one less visitor is eaten in your park each round. Okay, so you avoid that. So I avoid that, and I gain two. So you're at twelve? Ooh. And I'm very boring. I've got a security level of three and a threat level of three, so nothing happens. But again, I get the victory point for having him in the dino paddock, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm the only one who lost a person. Yep. But you lost a person, Jordo. I didn't lose a person. Because your threat level is three, isn't it? My security is three. Yeah, but your threat level is three. It's yeah. one plus the die. He's got the hunter that prevents one. Uh, no, no, no. I don't got the hunter. It's the the die is adding two to the threat level of one. Right. So your total threat level right now is three. And my security level is three. But it's equal or more. You lo you get eaten. Yeah, I lose zero people. Three minus three is zero. Yeah, you lose the difference in them. So if it's equal, you're fine. Yeah. 
equals. I thought it said equal or more. It's you lose it. No, if you have more than or equal to, you're fine. It's if you have less than, you're in trouble. More security um, than threat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm the only person who's lost somebody. So now we look but... at the look at the board the scoreboard. Where's the scoreboard? Uh, there we go. Yeah. And we look at who has the lowest victory points. That's myself and Nick. So we keep this current order. Nick moves to one. I move to two. Kim drops to three. Um, excitement levels proper as it is. And that's good. So now the cleanup phase. Uh, we yep. take, take all our scientists back. Mm -hmm. Let me... And I still keep the one that I gained from my hunter, right? Yep, you have him until yeah. until okay. you lose the hunter. Right. Okay. Yeah, you just basically pull back all of your worker placements mm -hmm. and your uh, scientist things. Yeah. So and then, and then we refresh. Then, the board. according to the plot twist, we get to gain oh, one yes. storage. We get to gain one mm -hmm. of anything, right? Yeah, one uh, of anything. Storage, yeah. Any uh, single DNA type. Ooh, what do I want? Really well, you don't gain the DNA. You just increase your limit. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm going to start increasing. But only limit. one single one, not multiple. Yep. And then we discard everything in row one and two. Yes. Actually, let's go to this. And then we push everything up as high as it'll go. And then we are going to add... This is the mess. <laughs> We're going to add the groundskeeper shack. The groundskeeper? So you'll um, notice that uh, some of these have this little green text. That is active kind of at all times. Uh, groundskeeper well, shack. We're well, gonna, until it's covered up. Yes, until it's covered up. Um, oh. The intensive research. Intensive research. In any one advanced DNA. Uh, oh, intensive research. So Nick can't screw me over. <laughs> <laughs> We're adding the gene splicing dogs. Gene splice dogs. Oh. And we're adding the fun house. Isn't that Jeez, fun? That does sound very nice. Gene splicing whatever. And we're adding chaos theorist. Hold up. Oh. Dogs. Well, and I'll put them all out. Let me know when you're ready. Fun house. There's the fun house. Okay. And specialists, we add chaos theorist, the mad scientist, and the chef. Chef, Cast there's the mad scientist. Oh, gotta fight. Okay, and which one of the okay? Okay. And you guys got all that set up? I'm just still yes. finding people. But you can go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm going to cover all that up. Then you got to do the dinosaurs, right? Yeah, I'll get the dinosaurs there. You know what? I'm going to put these starting over here so it's easier for me to place them. That's oh, why don't I group them together too? Wouldn't that be smart? And technically, I think before you roll, I need to do my the start of the round, gain a, advanced DNA. Okay. Which, for a while, it's going to be green every time. Uh, and then, for your information, we now have a... Oh, my God. A Pachycephalosaurus and a Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor? Utah Raptor. Yeehaw. And we still have the Spinosaurus. That's right, because those don't go away. Oh, and then we don't Can I find this one that you're talking about? Okay, hold on. Uh, can you... Uh, um, I just need the last scientist there. Your thing is covering it. Uh, the chef? 
the chef. All right. Now for the dinosaurs. Right. <sighs> Where are you? There you are. And on. So I get the first choice once again. You do. Um. Can't they find this Utah one? Oh, there it is. DNA option. I gotta see what DNA I need. There isn't a light blue. That's good. There's some advanced, though. That's free. Yeah, there is. I'm gonna go ahead and just check a one on the yellow, then. You know what? You still managed to screw me over. <laughs> um, and just so you guys are aware, there is a three pip die. In this round, if no one takes that, um, I need. What do I need? I got that. I need some of that. So let's get. Let's put my two guy on this one, and max out that DNA. Okay, Kim. The spiniosaurus. Ah, uh, so you're spending your three. Okay. All right. I'll spend my two and grab the uh, Utah. The Utah Raptor. Oh, I guess I gotta take these guys off. Okay. Um, how am I feeling about my DNA situation here? I don't need that right now, but. I might as well grab it, right? It's advanced DNA. Let's take it. Take one of those. <laughs> okay, Kim. It'll help us out. I'll put the one on the three pip purple. So you get one of those. Mm -hmm. Nick, I'm here. Gonna put my three on the uh, second die from the left. Because that's the dark purple one. Yes. That one? One, two, three. I will put my three on... Eek. Um, I don't really want that Ow. dino. Or maybe I do want him. Yeah, why don't I just take him? Put him... Where do I want him? Sure. Um, Kim, you got your two. Where do you want that? My two? Uh, let's put my two in the coal storage. Okay. So you can increase it by two. So our highest level pip now is a one. So we will be increasing the threat level by one for this round. Uh, phase two. There we go. It's gonna die out, so I can remember that. One. All right. I am going to go ahead and spend four and pick up the intensive research. Intensive research. So I knew Nick was gonna do that, so I'm spending five to do the same thing. Um. Oh, I'm going to run out of money here. <laughs> yep. I'm going to buy the... And remember, you can also buy DNA if you need ground, to. Ground Keeper. Shack. Oh, ground Keeper Shack. How much is that? Three bucks? Three bucks. Three bones. One, two. Nick. Three. All right, let's spend. Oh, what should I do? I can do that. There's both cost that. Should I just do it that way? I'm gonna spend 
three and gain a bunch of basic DNA. Okay. And what are you going to toss? Uh, let's toss the... Oh, the groundskeeper shack is gone. Let's toss the chaos theorist. Oh, God, you've screwed me over three times this round. I had a feeling you'd like that, so... Uh... I'm, ups right. I'm upset I'll by it. that. Um, that is totally what I wanted to. Do I overpay for the mad scientist then? How am I sitting on my DNA situation? I got that. I got that. I got that. And I got that. I might need... Oh, I need to increase the storage. That sucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pay four for the mad scientist. Because So... Some... Oh, this was supposed to go away. Uh, so, Kim, you got one more. So, like, for example, when you put a person on, let's say, hats, that doesn't get you anything, right? Uh, hats gets you a victory point. Oh, okay. You can see the symbol. Oh, yeah, okay. That's so faded. Got it. Yeah. Essentially, if you don't have enough spots to place people in your That's park, where it can go. you don't get points for them. I'm going to take the fun house. The fun house. So you're going to pay six. Six. Six for the fun house. And that finishes that phase of the game. Uh, off to first player is now Nick. So we'll go to Nick's nice. screen. And... What do I need the most of? Might as well. All right. All right. So I already know what I'm doing. Well, do it. I'm going to pay. Yeah, we're just going to do stuff right now, right? Yep. Should I talk through it or? You go ahead and talk through yours because you're the active guy on screen. Let people know what okay. you're doing. Um, so cause... pay two money to increase my security to four. And then I'm going to put my guy there to get a free security to increase it to five. Then I'm going to put a guy on my intensive research to gain one pink DNA. And then I'm going to create the Utah Raptor. Uther Raptor? With... <clears throat> I don't know. Utah Raptor. Um, paying a yellow, pink, dark purple blue and I get a dino and it's not a very cost effective dino because I go up two threat oh shit two threat but I gain two excitement there so Jordo if you want to put me at I have excitement uh, in a minute I can okay um I might as well do that because it's free Oh, I need money. I need money. <laughs> well, we're we're doing the money thing because we're poor. <laughs> Is that the best use of my last dude? Maybe it's oh, not. Oh, I can't do that. I have no money. <laughs> Get money first, then do that. Okay, then I guess I gotta do this. Oh, I can't even do that. That's what happened. Yeah, I'm stuck. I gotta take the money. I'm not happy about that. Okay. Uh, sorry, Nick, you said you're at excitement of what? I'm at excitement five. Five. I am at excitement of one, two, three. Oh, that's at no cost. Fine. <laughs> Uh. 
So while Kim's doing her thing, I'll kind of walk over what I did. Um, I created a Velociraptor. I, uh, oh, wait a minute. That increased my... So increase Nick's no, ones first. Okay. Um, oh, so I, I created a Velociraptor. Uh, I then upgraded a paddock for free. Uh, and then I increased my security by one. And I collected three bucks and I gained an advanced DNA. Okay. So that's what Can I did. So it? I'm at excitement level of two, three. So I'm at three. Uh, I refined a DNA for a yellow. Uh, I created a dinosaur. So my threat level goes up. Oh, yeah, I got to increase my threat. And I get th three excitement, right? Because I created that one. Uh, what, what is the total of your your excitement? So oh, it's. Did you make a Spinosaurus? I made a Spinosaurus. So that goes up three. Yeah, three on the excitement. Do you get. So is it three five? per dinosaur? Or just three? Yeah. Okay, so you got. Each time you make that one, it goes up that amount. So I just made one, so I gained three. Plus whatever you originally had, so you should be a total of... I think you were at... Well, just count uh, one, two... I see five. That's what I see, too. Yeah, three plus two, yeah. Okay. Um, and then... I created a dinosaur. I used my groundskeep, increased my security at no cost. And then I get to treat my security as an extra one, actually. Um, and then I collected some monies. Okay. Uh, so we'll go to Nick is first player. So Nick gets five people. Five. You got a hooligan. A person. A person. A hooligan. <laughs> Oh, this is crap. You got three people and two hooligans. Oh. I think there was something in the rules of, like, hooligans not being added until later. Or maybe that was a plot twist. That might be a plot twist. I think they add more hooligans. I get three. I got a person. A person. Person. Kim gets five. You got a person. Mm -hmm. A person. Mm -hmm. A person. Mm -hmm. A person. A patron. And a person. <laughs> Yay! You got five, no five peoples. Me. Poor Nick has the hooligans. I got hoes. Um, okay, so we'll place our peeps. Um, so the victory points for your dinosaurs come at the end of the game, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. But you're also getting, you also get the points for placing the people there. Oh, wait a minute, money first. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I got three to, three bucks for the for that. Nick also got three bucks. And then place them. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. And we're gonna go there. So I gain three points. So I gained two points. Uh, so you are at 13? That's what I've got. Okay. So every time you place a person, you gain the victory point, right? Yes. Yes. So Whereas many people are in your park. One, really two, three. People. So I gained four victory points. Oh, hang on. I guess let's make sure people aren't dead yet first. Oh. Yeah. I guess. We oh, should... you don't do that till after? Oh, okay. Yeah, hang on. So we were both at 11. Let's go back there. Okay. So, so, but for my text, Rex, I get to choose between victory point and coins, but I just take the coins right now or wait? Yes. Well, let's go let's see if they survive first, okay? Oh, uh, okay, so I'll put those two back. Okay, so the threat level is plus one. So, Nick, what are you at? I am uh, at five threat, and I have five security. I'm so good. You're good. So you do get the two points. Yes. Okay. So I'm at 13. I am at uh, four and four, so I'm good. So I get my three points. I'm at... Was it three points? One, two, three. Yeah, I'm at 14. Okay. Kim. So the level four for me, and my security is at five. So you are fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to take four victory points because I'm taking coins for my Rex Max. Okay. 
one, two, four victory points. Four. So you're at sixteen. Yep. Uh, uh, let's see where this is. That's what I got. So the turn stays exactly the same as it was. Uh, so we'll go to the end of the turn. We can now increase our our uh, cold storage on one DNA by mm -hmm. one. Uh, which is the one I need the most of? All of them. Yeah. Pretty much. So we'll go with that one. Um, then we clear out the top two rows. And we move everything up. Sorry, Mike, we're not talking to you. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to add the Dino Security. We're going to yeah. add the Intensive Research. Oh, man, I overpaid for that last round. Uh, the Transmogrifier. Security, Transmogrifier. And the Break Room. Dino Burgers. Break Room. Jurassic World. <laughs> and shot glasses. So the chef is still there. And Perfect. we're adding in the union boss. Okay. Interesting. World. The security guard two. Oh, that that's one where you want hooligans. Oh, world. And uh, security guard three. Oh, neat. Okay. Neat. -o. What's the bottom attraction? Uh, shot glasses. That's a weird name. Oh yeah, and get all your take all your stuff back. Where is the shot glass? Hyper coaster, Ferris wheel. I don't see the shot glass. Break room again. And then the new dinosaurs are. Oops. Uh. Ankylosaurus, a Ceratosaurus, and a Gigantosaur Gigantosaurus. Did you find everything there, or? Um, I might have to search because that's a three plus one. And I gotta get the. So, what was the small carnivore? Uh, small carnivore is the Ceratosaurus. Right, All right. Uh, can I roll the dice then, here, or? Uh, one sure. sec. Let's make sure I have everything. I'm gonna gain a yellow DNA. Uh, what are the specialists that popped out? Uh, specialists the are two? the union boss, the security guard two, and the security guard three. Oh. Jurassic two, pork. Two That's and funny. three. Clever girl. <laughs> Jurassic World Wait. is the one you're looking for. <laughs> Did the mad scientist go? I bought her. Okay, that's fine. You took the other one I wanted, so. <laughs> okay. So we have a chef. Uh, okay. Can I roll? Go ahead, roll. Okay. Two. Okay. We'll grab, and union mice. Grab the purple, purple. The blues. There's two, three pips on here. Four, no, there's three. There's three and dice. Shot glasses. Okay. Ah, there we go. You're good? Got my shot glasses. Got it. Okay. Is that security guard three? Security guard two and three, yes. I feel like they should have been wearing red shirts. <laughs> they should have, actually. <laughs> they should have. Um, so we're on phase one. Nick is still first. Security intensive research. That. And that. All right. So, 
Oh, I forgot what dinosaurs we have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dinosaurs. The big one out is the Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus, really enormous. You know what's a show called Gigantosaurus and has nothing to do with Gigantosaurus? <laughs> no, I just saying. <laughs> I rolled. Of course, I chose yellow. That great. Okay. Um. You know it's great. I'm getting Gigantosaurus. <gasps> Ooh, go big or go home. Um, oh crap! What do I want? I think I'm gonna buy take, the other dinosaur. I'm gonna take the baby one. Ankylosaurus. Yep. The best dinosaur there is. I think you mispronounced Stegosaurus. I already I have a Stegosaurus. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. I'm kind of sad about the Stegosaurus being gone. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's the one I want to take in. I would trade you, but I don't think we're allowed. I don't think we're allowed either. Oh. Clean those up. Kim, what do you and want? On. Kim? All right, I'll take the last dinosaur. Do you want to spend your two or your three? My two. Okay, just checking. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was an option. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you can always overspend. Uh, Nick, back to you. Uh, let's see. We don't have any of that. We have minimal thing. So I need that. Well, then. I'll put my one on the light blue i think yeah that one okay sure i think they're both the same so it doesn't matter yeah i'm gonna put my two there to max out that one okay oh and because uh with my mad scientist once per round if you gain dna during the research phase gain any one additional basic dna so let's grab Looks like I'm going to need a lot of that, so we'll grab that one. How do you earn seven victory points from Dinosaur's Exhibit in a single round? Um, a lot of excitement. Yeah, you need to like pump up the excitement. You need to get seven people into your paddocks. And have seven spots available. Yes. So you need to have seven people in all these paddocks and survive. Yes. Yes. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> It's going to happen. Yeah, it'll eventually happen. It's yeah. It's going to take a while. Okay. Sorry, me, right? Yes. Um, there's no big numbers here. Well, there's big threat levels coming. Uh, I will take the... I'll do a three on the blue. This blue? The other blue. This the blue? The light blue. Okay. <laughs> the turquoise color. I don't know what you want to call okay. it. So I get three, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Nick, you got a two. Where do you want it? Um. Are you going to be helpful to the group or screw them? I think... Well, that's that one. I don't. Yeah, that's the light one. I don't even need that really. So I'm either going to pass it on or just increase my cold storage. So, yeah, I'm not going to be helpful. Okay, are you increasing? Are you passing or cold storage? Mm -hmm. I'll pass it on. Okay, so you I'll will save have, it for my uh, you will phase have an three. Extra worker next round. Um, well, I'm not going to be helpful either. I'm having the same debate. If I want an extra worker or increase my cold storage, um, 
I feel cold storage is probably more valuable right now. So I'll paste my three on that and I'll go one, two, three. Okay. Kim, you got a one -er. I'll take the dark blue. This one? Okay, so you get one of that one, and because we're all jerks, we got an extra threat of three this round. Uh -huh. uh, Nick? I'm going to unionize. Uh, the union, union boss. boss. He is gone. I... I need people. I am going to pay three to increase my dino research. Oh, yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> That's what screwed me last Remember? round. I was like, oh my god, I can't create. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then it's Kim's. Pensive to do that right now. Yeah, great. I'm gonna buy the shot class. Oh my god, big spender. Ten bucks. That will fill me up for the objective. Uh which uh, one? Build one attraction of each type. I have a food, I have a ride, and now I have merchandise. <sighs> Look at you. That's a seven point move. That is. That's at the end of the game, though, right? Yeah. 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 But it, you've locked it down. Like, we can't touch it now, so. Yeah. Because I have no attractions. I couldn't catch up. Um, yeah. I was, boy, I'm not, I wasn't even close <clears throat> on attractions. Uh, Nick. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so shot glasses is gone. Um... Oh no, I knocked over stuff. I'll fix it later. Yeah, let's go broke and get the uh, dino research. Uh, I'll upgrade that. Oh, dino research too. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm debating if I go broke or not. <laughs> um. And also, that could mess me up. That means I take away that. I feel that's a bad move. And passing just gets me two bucks, right? That's what I've been told. I'm gonna... I think I actually want DNA. I'm gonna pay two bucks for some basic DNA, and I'm gonna toss the dino security. Uh, so I get two. What do I need? Grab one of those, and one of those. Okay, Kim. I'm going to pass for two bucks. Okay. Uh, that's the end of that round. We're going into the player phase. We'll put me on screen because I haven't been on screen yet. And I'm sad if I'm not on screen. Um, okay. So what? So is when you build a dinosaur, you increase this threat level, correct? Yes. Yes. Build it. So I'm or actually going to use my lab manager thing to increase my cold storage. So actually, I should be on. By one. I am then going to see if I can do this. Um, so I need, I'm going to go here to gain a green DNA. So then I got to spend one green, one purple, and one of those to create a dinosaur right there. 
I then need to spend another green, another of those, and a purple to create another dinosaur. And then I'm going to create a blue, a that, two of those, and that to create a third dinosaur to claim that objective. Ah, oh, jerk. And I got one guy left. I should probably increase my security because I'm about to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be a massacre. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I don't have any, I don't have enough money. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to get a free paddock upgrade. <laughs> People are going to die anyway. I don't care. Uh, let's give them extra space for all the blood. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, let's see, Nick said the Ankylosaurus was the cool one, so we'll upgrade the other one. That is my personal favorite dinosaur. That's why I upgraded the other one. So I am done my phase, so on my phase I created three dinosaurs, not counting my starter one. I upgraded a paddock, and I gained one advanced DNA, and I was unable to increase my security level, so I am hosed. <laughs> there, cool. there will be death. <laughs> I probably should have taken money because I am poor right now. <laughs> yeah, I did a bunch of stuff to uh, make money and spend it immediately. Because I got hosed with the hooligans. Um, oh, I guess I got to... Guess... Oh, uh, do you want to walk through your stuff? Yeah, I can walk through mine real quick. Actually, I'm going to increase my... I'm going to do my excitement while I do this. Two, four, five, six, seven, nine. I'm at nine. Oh, wow. Boom. It jumped me. So do you want to go over your... If you're done, yeah. we'll walk through. So I went to the venture capitalist for three. Spent that three immediately to increase my security. I went to the venture capitalist for two and upgraded a paddock for two um so i'm keeping with the no money theme <laughs> and i increased my security level by one for no cost and i made a stegosaurus because i'm not a jerk like jordan <laughs> well how am i a jerk i just made my park super exciting actually well, you were saying the ankylosaurus is lame so it is lame yes um so what's your ex current excitement then I am at seven. Seven, okay. And Kim, are you done? Yeah. Okay. What so, did you What did you do? Uh, I refined a DNA to make a pink one. I upgraded my paddock, my one, my basic one to three, and my other one to two. I collected some money and I I did my shack, which increases my security. That's it. I didn't get to build a dinosaur. Okay, so your excitement is currently still at five. Still at the same yeah okay uh okay off to the park phase nick is still first you get seven people seven hooligans coming right up one hooligan <laughs> two person three person four person five person six person <laughs> seven person you got one hooligan and seven people that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's garbage. Okay. I get nine people. One, two people. Three, four. You get nine meat shields. <laughs> Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. I get a hooligan. And Kim gets five people. Yep. One, two. Three, four. Five, all people. And a hooligan. No hooligans for you. And yeah, I get meat shields who are going to die, but they're going to pay their money to get into the park first. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bucks. Pay your money to die. <laughs> I mean, thanks for visiting our park. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter where it's going to go because the threat level is at... Oh, wait, I didn't increase my threat level. That's oh, one, right? Because it's two per di it's like it's each dinosaur creates a threat right yeah each dino yeah oh no you were at one seven three four five your your threat level is five right now my threat level is seven oh sorry i'm reading the wrong one it's actually it's actually ten so nobody is surviving this oh yeah one two i am losing so many points this round Okay, well, I'm going to start placing people because it really doesn't matter. Because <laughs> yeah. nobody is going to live here. Okay, my people are placed. Uh, uh, what's the pip at? Three? Three. Okay, so oh is yours all placed there, Nick? Yep, I'm losing a person. So I have a... So the current threat level is ten. My security is four... I lose six people. That is one, <laughs> two, three, four. Do you eat him first or do you go outside the park? Probably eat him because he's in the park, right? You go outside. Okay. So when do you do a hooligan? When you run out of other guys. One, two, three, four. Uh, what I say? Which, I don't uh, think it matters at this point because. I, lo kind of I lose point. six points. So, I mean, that's. Yeah, and six. hooligans don't three, gain points. Five, six. Okay, so I am oh, down to eight get points. Money. I got my money. And I get no victory points for that, so that's cool. <laughs> I lose just one and gain three, so I go up two to 15. Okay. Kim, what's happening in your park? Threat is at six. My security is at six, but my hunter is one less eaten. So I am at uh, one, two, three... Four victory points, and I'm going to gain two coins from my Rex mech. One, two, three, four. Holy cow, Kim is at 20. So the good news is, I'm first now. <laughs> um, then Nick and Kim is still last. Uh, end of the round, you may increase the cold storage on any DNA by one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't even need... Hey, throw it all roll good. And oh, not roll yet. We the next refresh. thing, we got to destroy all of these. Get out some good specialists. I get a freebie. <laughs> uh, then these move all the way up. These move up. Okay, so What's our that? upgrades are... Whoops. Uh, ride improvement. Oh, Lord, that's going to be good for Kim. Uh, duplication chamber. Duplicate the action of another non-green upgrade in your lab. How many rounds are we at? How do we know? Uh, when one more objective gets filled. Yeah. Uh, postcards. First aid station. I and need that. Giga coaster. And then we've got the intern. You may place one patron on this card each round to score victory points. And we've got the Jack of All Trades. Oh, that's for Nick. Nick. And you said it was Intern and Jack of All Trades? Yes. So I am first this round. I am Nick is second. And Kim is last. Let's put all my dudes back. Duplication. Um, okay, I... Oh, we gotta roll the dice. Junk. Specialist. Can I roll over the people yet, or...? Yeah, you can I'm roll good. the people. I'm still grabbing stuff. Okay. Oh, I gain a basic... Er, advanced um, DNA for my dude. There's an advanced DNA... There's those. Oh, two advanced DNA. Look, look at that. 
You're welcome, people. Ooh. Oh, and our dinosaurs are the Brontosaurus, the... Oh my god, what does that say? Compsognathus? Compsognathus? Yeah, that one. And the Allosaurus. Brontosaurus. Um, okay, what do I want to do? Or are you guys ready before I start doing stuff? I am ready. Um... Anyway, so while you two guys are, I uh, oh my god, I'm I'm just gonna take all of that advanced DNA. Which color? Uh, the yellow, and because I gain DNA, I might gain any other DNA, any basic DNA, for free. I'm gonna put my one on the uh, hot pink advanced DNA. Okay. go up when you purchase a dinosaur what's that so when i purchase my serious taurus or whatever yeah when did that excitement level go up when you have a dinosaur in the paddock when i have a dinosaur in the paddock okay. yeah i'm still finding these things what oh sports them sports something Goodness, why are these so hard to find? Oh, postcard. Uh, fruit station. First aid station. Oh. <laughs> Not a fruit station. <laughs> Sorry, Kim, I thought you were ready. I was. <laughs> no, you could have guys done, done, done your stuff while I was still. Giga coaster. Yeah, see, I wanted a coaster. Now, expensive it is now. What freaking Aren't you like rolling in cash? Not really. I have 10. That's well, I've looking. been crashing my cash from the Rex Max just to get me back up, right? So it's like... All right. Yeah. Well, I can't find this Giga Coaster. Oh, there it is. All right. You guys went? All yep. right. Um, what do I need now to build this dinosaur? Not that. I have that. I need that. Okay. Um, that should be fine. I'm going to put my one on the first die the dark blue okay so two for me two of that um i feel i need the workers more than i need the stuff um because am i building anything this round i don't think i am i don't really care about the cold storage right now uh yeah i'm passing Oh, you're just passing your worker on to the next round? Uh, well, I'm putting one of my guys in there. Oh, wait. I put one guy uh -huh. there. Or is that the last action I have to take and put them both there? Um, I don't think it matters. I think you can put one there okay. now. And... I haven't decided on the second one yet. Okay. I'm going to put my two on the Brontosaurus. Two on the Brontosaurus, okay. Oh, man. Uh, here's a question. If I buy a dinosaur, mm -hmm. I'm going to have four zones left. Yep, that'll trigger... We finish the round, then. Yep. That'll trigger Dame. Dame. Ooh, I Dame's a good sound coming up from Nick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm one... I'm one zone away, so if you do it now, you prevent me from getting it next phase if I wanted. True. I mean, if you could so, do it, do it. I mean... I, I probably will do it. Which one I want to get is... Ugh. Well, you gotta spend a two or a three. At the gain of victory points, you have to have a dinosaur on it. Yes. If you don't have a dinosaur you on it, you lose ten points. points. What? 
buff. Is it 10 points? <laughs> no, is that right? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Hang on. It's pretty bad. Uh, um, oh, where is that? I think it's end game. Oh, if you there are no dinosaurs there, you lose 10 victory points. So if I do this, I trigger it, we finish it, and then the game's done. The game is done, yes. yes. But you're guaranteeing yourself 14 points there. But well, I gotta build a dinosaur seven. on it, though. I gotta build a dinosaur. So let me think this. Can I even do it that round? And remember, Nick said he can do it next round. Next phase. Next phase. So I'm gonna go with. That. Oh, that's I'm right. I'm gonna go with uh, the comp, comp guy, the comp dinosaur, the second one there. I'll use my second uh, thing. All right, so that does trigger end of game at the end of this round. Yep. And that locks me out of those points. Uh oh, my turn. Um, yeah, fuck it. Pass. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass one worker over, too. Okay. Got the DNA I need, I think. Uh, I'm well, going... hold on a second. Let me check something. Yeah, wait. I need one of those, one of those. One of those, one of those. And then that. Okay, yeah, I've got the DNA I need. So I'll pass it over. Okay. And my three left, right? You got your three left. There is a three pip on there. Which is the that one. I mean, I wouldn't be helping people out at this point, personally. <laughs> That's the purple one. Yeah, that, that it's gonna be chaos. <laughs> Do what's best for you, Cam. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. I don't think I might be losing some points next turn. Hold on. I have that one. I have that one. I have that one. I that one. But to do that one, I'm s <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> probably going to do some stupid shit. I'm totally going to do stupid shit this round. Alright. I'm... I'm shooting for the moon. I'm probably going to lose. Not going to help you. <laughs> I'll toot my three on the purple. That's not the three pip. <laughs> okay. We will have an increase of three this round. On to this phase. I think I just need money. Like, <laughs> I honestly think nothing else helps me. Uh, on phase two, right? Okay. Yeah. Phase two. So. Um, can... Oh, would that help me? Actually, I'm going to grab the security guard three and hope that he helps me. Uh, Nick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Uh, how much money do you two have? I have seven bucks. Ten dollars. Ten. Okay. I'm going to spend six and pick up the Jurassic World. Because I would have had all but four spots completed. You're going to pay six. It's only five. Oh, I have a money. <laughs> you got a dollar left. I got a dollar. Am I after Nick or after you, Matt? Uh, you're after Nick. Uh, I'm going to do... Gain any to advance for five. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what are you throwing away? Uh, the most useful one. <laughs> Probably a duplication might be good. I'll take out that one. Okay. So any two, one. Okay, that and that. 
Okay, I uh, I would like two dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> and my union boss says I can hire security guard number two for free. Okay. Uh, Kim, last thing. Oh, I, I gained like a worker. I gained a worker from that security guard. I didn't even notice that. Whoops. That's going to be useful. So threat for me is at 10. Can I get... My... <laughs> I can't do it. Because <laughs> I'm going to make my... Sorry, I'm just... Uh, no, that's okay. I'm calculating how, or... how dead I'm going to be. Yeah, I just need to see. Is any two? Uh, oh, I'm shooting for the moon. Oh yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be lots of death and destruction in in Jordo's park this, this round. Okay, I'm gonna do the and gain any two basic DNA for two dollars. And I guess this goes away. Okay. Okay. Um, I was Who, who's on screen. I was on last, so we'll go back to Kim. I mean, we could walk through and everyone do their final turn. Well, yeah, maybe just final turn, lap, like each individual person. Okay. Do it that way. So, so well, well, no, because it's gonna thing. it's gonna give people let let you know what you need to do, right? Oh, true. Oh, All yeah. right, let's go. Yep. Because <laughs> this is simultaneous, so I have got a shit ton of workers. I okay. Definitely so, let's... That. so the first one's gonna no. Think of what I'm going to do then. I'm gonna increase my cold storage for free, even though I don't doesn't do anything I'm going to do that to increase that to that then I'm gonna do that hopefully I've got everything I need to do that 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 equals that okay <laughs> now the can I keep people alive phase so I get two back for that. I'm going to do that again to get me there. And I can't afford that. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. I have a venture capitalist. Oh, I should have upgraded that. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Is it? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't need to do that. Hang on. People are going to die. Yeah, there's going to be some death, but, you know, casualties are, are worth it. Um. Oh, yes. I think I can do this. Hmm. That, then I've got an extra dude. What do I do with him? Oh, yeah. So I do that, I get that. I'm still one just one worker short. I can just put it there. Oh, budge. Oh, I don't know what to do. I got two people left to place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm done. I think Jordan, we'll have to see who gets the most blood. I think I'm going to put that there. So I get a plus one. Um, well, I'll just move it so I, so I remember. Actually, I'll put... I'll put the white one there so I remember that's actually just a temporary one. And then I might as well grab some money. Money is worth points at the end of the game. But it's I only think it's five. Like five to one. So I don't even have five bucks. Just for having one money left? No, five money equals oh. one victory point. And I only got four. You'll gain money. Yeah. 
That's the best I can do. Uh, okay, I'm done. So I'll, once everyone's done, I'll explain what I did. I'm good. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, why don't we put me on screen there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so for my turn, um, there's a bloodbath coming, so I was all about security this round. <laughs> Um, first thing I did was I upgraded a paddock for free to get another Velociraptor. I then made a Velociraptor. I had enough DNA left to do that. Um, I then upgraded my security three times. Um, I then put a worker on my security guard to give me basically four extra security and then got some cash from the bank to help me do all of that stuff. So my excitement now sits at, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, Nick is next. What is your situation? All right. I did a lot of stuff. Can, um, you, can you put Nick on there? There. Were... Yeah. I spent two money to, or I gained two money to then grade a paddock, my basic, uh, dino dude. Then I made three dinosaurs and in between making dinosaurs, I also gained an advanced DNA. So that I could make a Gigantosaurus, a Brontosaurus, and an Alberta Dramas, Dramas, whatever my basic guy is. Um, and then I increased security by one at no cost, and I'm still down four. Okay, so what is your excitement level right now? I went up one, two, three, six excitement to put me at 13. 13 excitement. Okay. Okay. I increased my security level. I created two dinosaurs and I used my groundkeeper, which increased my security level again, and I get the plus one bonus. My total excitement now is nine. Nine. Let's bump you up. Okay. So turn order is still me first, and I get 11 people into my park. I got one, two, three. Well, we four, get money from this. Anyway. Yeah. Five. No hooligans. That means six, it's all for us now. Seven. Wow. Eight. Come on. Nine. <laughs> 10, no way! No way! He left 11. It for us. Oh my I goodness! All shenanigans. It was all on camera, completely legal. <laughs> I uh, think you were shaking your dice bag with your hand in it. Who's next? Uh, Nick gets thirteen guys. Okay, one, two. Oh, there we go. Three. Get all of it. How many hooligans are in the bag? Four, anyways? five, ten or twelve, six, mm. maybe twenty, seven. Great, I'm gonna get them. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You got two hooligans. Wow. I only have nine. Great. I'm going to get all of them. Yeah. I think there's ten. There's like 80. Is it 80? Of the original guys? I don't know. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. You get one hooligan. Oh, one hooligan. That's your first hooligan, I think. It is. So I get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars. The hooligans don't count, right? Hooligans do not count. They do not pay. Um. Well, I guess it didn't matter. I was almost going to get the uh, last objective. Oh, yeah? 
One, two, three. Yeah, except four people are dying. Okay, so and we'll do, we'll do this in turn. We'll do this one in turn order. So the hooligan has to go, right? Hooligan goes in first. Like, oh, it goes in first. Okay. So that's right. Well, you can put them anywhere. You can put them anywhere. So put them in a crap spot, yeah. like a hat. I mean, really, it doesn't matter where they go. Yeah. Because they're gonna get eaten anyways. Well, they no, they get eaten last. I don't even know where to put all my people. I don't, I don't have room for all my people. Oh, poor Kim. I have so much room in my park. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have that much dinosaurs. I would try to make another one, but I didn't have much DNA. I'm so sad. I am at zero DNA. I have I two advanced that. left. Somehow. Just means one person outside. The Are you ready? Ready. Okay, so we're on my screen here. Let's go over what's going to happen. Uh, it's a. I have a. Oh wait a minute. Hang on. Let me let me see my base. Uh, two, four, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Oh sweet. Uh, so it's actually at. My base is at nine, and plus three, so it's actually at twelve. And this is going to go badly. I have eight. Security. So, minus so, so you lose four. I lose four, four. and it doesn't really matter where. Bad. One, two, three, four. Get eaten. I lose four points for that. One, two, three, four. But I'm also going to gain three points back. One, two, three. And those guys outside the park don't count for anything. Nick. So go to Nick's screen and what? A, where are you at? Let's, what kind of bloodbath are you? Well, um, I yes. have a threat, a base threat of 9 plus 3 puts me at 12 as well. And then I have 8 security, so I think we're even, Jorio. Um, so I lose 4 people as well. So cool. It's a very dangerous day at the Jurassic World. Hat shop and brontosaurus pit, <laughs> and but you gain back what four more points, and then I gain exactly four, so I'm net zero. Okay, so you're still at fifteen, right? Yep. Okay, Kim. All right, my threat levels at eight plus, uh, is that... plus three is eleven. Uh, my security is at eight. One less visitor is eaten, so really it's eleven minus nine. Sure. Right? So three are getting eaten. Yep. Mm, doesn't matter. No victory point. Okay. So three are eaten, but then I gain one, really. No, I gain. The hooligan counts? No. Okay. So I gain. So I, three got eaten. I have four on the board, so I gain one. So you're at 21, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's do final round scoring. We'll start with. Kim, I guess. What are you starting at? Seven. Oh god, you lost a point that round. <laughs> I I lost a point. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to start with? Me? Yeah, you're in the three? lead. We might as well see okay. if if we can do Catch this. Up? Yeah. All right. So, what's the first thing we score? Uh, let's score the park first. This park. All right. So, yeah. is it one victory point just for that, or for each dinosaur? Per just dinosaur. It's one victory point for these. So that would be two victory points then. So one, two, plus seven uh, is nine. Hold on, sorry, I forgot to give myself my two there. Uh, is nine plus three, twelve plus four, sixteen plus four, twenty plus twenty. Plus twenty, so you're at uh, 41. 41. Kate, and you didn't have any empty paddocks. You got them all with nope. the dinosaur. So no yeah. losing points there. And then you gain another 14 for the objectives. Yeah, I think she, us. I think she yeah. destroyed us. Uh, so 14 is... Oh, I have to get the little thing uh, out? Uh, fifth, what are we at? 14 is 55. 55. 55. 
Yep, hang on. Kim's coming back to see me. And then coins. I have ten. So you can get two more points. You and that's it for school, lap, right? almost lapped me. Uh, did you get any points from your attractions? Uh, I already counted it. Okay. Everything else was just... I only had one that had the victory point. I okay. already counted that Well, one. we might as well count yeah. me next, because I'm not going to come close, and then maybe Nick has a chance, but I don't think either one of us do. I have a chance. <laughs> um, okay, I'm starting at 7. I am going to get 12 from my Velociraptors. Uh, 14... 15, 16, 17 from my park. Uh, so that takes me to 20... What did I say was it? 7? Yeah, I've yes. got you at 7. Uh, basic math is what, 24? Plus mm -hmm. another 7. So I get to 31. 31. And that's... Oh, and I got $15. Exactly. So 1, so 2, 34. 3... 34. Right. I am not close. Actually, I'm closer than I thought I was going to get. <laughs> well, we'll yeah. I think we're fighting for second place, because I don't know if I'm going to even get to you. Okay, so you're um, starting at 15. Yes. And I have no bonus cards. I get nothing for my attractions. It's all on the dinos. So I get... Starting with the big guy, he's 7. Plus four is eleven. Plus another four is fifteen. Oh yeah, you got it. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Fifteen so. plus nineteen. Oh wait a minute, are we tied? We're we're tied. This is garbage. <laughs> can you can you put the score up? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we are tied. And does he get wow. extra? Does he have any coins? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. I have two points from points. Oh. <laughs> you had 10 points? You had 10? Okay. <laughs> no. It would have been funny if you didn't have time. Uh, and no negatives. Okay. No negatives. Every... No. All right. And so that is, is 34? 34. Is kicking 50? our ass at 57. Seven. Oh, yeah. Wow. Kim just like destroyed us with attractions when we were trying to build, you know, dinosaurs in our dinosaur parks. Yeah, so you guys are buying dinosaurs at first. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm going to go for one of these objectives first. Well, I was building towards the objective to get the dinosaurs to build the yeah. dinosaurs. Yeah, it, it really helped that you you jumped on that objective. I mean, I don't think it would have mattered. It would have been like a 14 point swing and you're still comfortably ahead of me. Oh, God, yeah. Like, yeah. um, because had I got that objective, what really stinks is I was close. Well, no, I was that last round, I was aiming to try and get the remaining objective because I got seven dinos out, which would let me get seven points from the dinos, except I needed to not get hooligans, and I had one too many threats. Yeah, the threat so killed was, me. Oh my god. I was boned. I was way. managing that well. You know what? My groundskeeper shack really helped because you get one at no additional cost and then another one. Yeah. The the trouble yeah. is you have to keep devoting that worker there. Yeah. I yeah. Don't yeah. Like that. I managed it okay. It, it worked out. I didn't have to eat much people. Oh, and then the dino hunter helped with the one less. Yes, that helped quite a bit. Mhm. Mm because I was even most of the time with that guy. Yeah, I, I do. really fun, though. It's it's a super fun game. Um, the, I uh, think it has some flaws, but it could be better. Or, I mean, sorry, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. I mean, it, the things I don't like about it is the setup. Like, this is this is the definition of a table hog. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, each person gets a basically an entire game board to themselves. Yeah, so what you see, like, uh, on the screen there, well, if we take away the the scoreboard, like, that is what each player needs. So on my screen is the actual, like, setup, how they recommend it, um, where you got the two boards and the cards in between, so that's kind of what you need um, yeah. for that, plus I mean, all the stuff in the middle. Um, yeah. These are about the size of, like, a normal sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11. Yep. 
Yeah. And then there's the three communal boards. Okay. Yeah. So like your table needs to take at minimum five sheets of paper and put them out on the board. And then you need more for the market area. You need two more spaces for each for the player past the first. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. I've uh, I've actually seen on Board Game Geek someone designed a play mat. So uh, I think it's one of the oh. um, for even the expansion is included on that and it looks really nice yeah. so i've I, if, how big is it it's the x the xl mouse pad on on uh inked gaming whatever that is oh okay so i, I think, think that's i think that's the same height as a dice master's mat but a little longer okay that's actually really condensed yeah it looks really good so I, i'm thinking i might actually do that for this game yeah you could probably condense i mean the the scoring track is pretty big and yeah, it's the market rows that take up a lot of space. The market rows takes up a ton of space there. Yeah, I I think w one of my friends locally doesn't quite care for the game because you can kind of cheat the uh, player order if you let someone die early because you got a big dinosaur. Okay. And so like you. So, like, say you take your large predator, which adds threat and puts a lot of excitement onto the board. Yeah. And so you can, like, go down in player order by taking, say, one death. And then, um, like, you don't show those seven points from having the big dinosaur until the very end. And so it looks like you're always at a lower score than everyone else. But you're not. But you're not. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if that's the strategy you want to go... I don't know, like... I, I don't look that deep into the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can do. I think he was mostly pissed because I got... I did the uh, big dino thing in the beginning, and... I was constantly, like, at the first player, even though I was... If you looked at the boards, I had a lot more points. Okay. Um, also, I don't think past like the first game or two i ever played the medium game it's worth it to just play the long game so what is the long game how is it different i haven't even looked at so, those it's all about the objective cards yeah and basically there's parallel objective cards um and so for instance we had the one objective fill all but four zones in your park yeah i think for the long game it's fill your entire park oh, okay Oh, that's something that's actually cool with the expansion is they give you blueprints. Yeah, and there's that's one of the expansions. Um and and I think some of it too is like the earn 7 VPs from dinosaur exhibits in a single round. For the long game it's like earn 10 points. Okay, so still the same stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of the same theme just a little bit further and i think the small game or the short game is way too short i've never played it though but um for this much setup you probably don't want to do a short game yeah it's no i like, mean that medium game so what have we been streaming for uh two hours but i think a big chunk of that was explanation yeah explanation was a lot i think honestly we didn't start playing until about 10 o'clock <laughs> So we pretty much hit about an hour. Which is decent. I mean, and, and like I said, I, I like the game. Um, I I actually haven't looked closely at the expansion, so I don't know everything that's in I know it's like water dinosaurs. There's So the expansion is modular. Um, I think it has five different modular expansions within it. Okay. And one of those, ex, one of those modular things is the fifth player module where literally all it does is just give you the components to play with five people that's it why is that um, modular because you don't have to play with five people okay i don't know um the another expansion gives you the aquatic dinosaurs as many expansions are there 
There's well, the it's all bundled into liquid something. Totally liquid, and then there's a uh, dinosaur it's... world. No, it's just the one expansion, but there's many expansions in it. No, but didn't they make a second game? Yeah, that's a but it's a no world standalone. Oh, okay, so it doesn't really tie in with this game at all. It has some thematic similarities, but it is a different game. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think most of the modular expansions are not hard to tack on for this one. I think the only weird one is when you add the water dinosaurs, they don't follow the same, like rigidity of the other dinosaurs like for instance all of the herbivores if you go through the stack there are always two excitement two points one threat and they always take two basic dna and one advance it changes the different colors of dna but it's literally all the same and then the okay. same thing goes for the other types of dinos in this one where it's the same ratio of basic and advanced DNA. It's the same excitement, points, and threats. For the water ones, it gets nuts. Okay. Like I think there's one that gains... It doesn't have any threats. It, there's one that gains a lot of points. And so it's like very different and wild. And so there are legitimately some very bad ones in the stack and some very, very, very good ones. Interesting. I'm going to have to pull it out because I, I, I don't even know where it is on my shelf right now. 